Let's put myself in the middle. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, animals, minerals and vegetables. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're going to get started in a minute. But I'm just going to, you know, do some stuff. <laughs> Take control. Um, make sure I've got everything in order that I want to get in order. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Hello, wizard. Minecraft, I see. Yes, we're going to do some Minecraft uh, in a minute. Stricker. Hey, everybody. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Lockdown. It's all good. Anyway. We're gonna get there in a sec, so just uh, hold on to your horses. We're gonna we're, we're pulling in in a minute. So I'm just making sure it's not high pixel. Let's just edit this stream title because it's wrong. Um, Tinkercad. Um, build, uh, what am I gonna call it? Building. Let's do building. Tink cad and bedrock. Is that how you spell Tinker Cad? I think so. Tinker Cad, Tinker Cad. That'll do. That'll do. Haven't played the game in quite some time. Oh dear. I love I love uh, Wonder Quest as well. Wonder Quest as woo. Wonder Quest as woo. Things have been fine. Do you still play Mario Maker? Not as much as I'd like to, to be honest. Where's my Switch? I don't even know. I think my Switch is next door with my with my son. But anyway, let's get on with this. Let's get on with this. Uh, let's get on with this. I'm going to try actually and get because I've got the chat on screen but I, I don't want to show the chat I'm just trying to get the chat out and about so I can actually see it so I'm just trying to get it so I can see the chat your channel that'll do uh, that'll do and pause that and open up there we go now I can see the chat live so I don't have to watch it on here, which is all good. Anyway, so uh, you and Stampy are a great duo. Thank you. I, I'm so I'm still so proud of Wonder Quest. To be honest, I love it. What I'm going to do today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is I'm going to show you. Let's go to my new scene. I'm going to show you because um, I make Minecraft maps for a living, uh, and I'm going to show you a couple of techniques to make your own Minecraft maps. And to make giant things, cool things in it as well. You the brain, Stampy was the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, what have I dropped? No, nothing. No, I was... Uh, it was the brains. I consulted on the educational aspect of WonderQuest for sure. It was a total joy. Anyway, let's... Let's go into here. Let's... let's there I am. Hello, everybody. Uh, let's get... Let's create a new world. I'm just going to create a new world. So create a new world. Let's make it creative let's have it peaceful I don't want any kind of crazy things let's make it flat you know just because it doesn't have to be though let's show coordinates let's get a friendly fire and all this nonsense that kind of makes our life more difficult I'll have natural tree generation though I'll have immediate respawn don't want any of these holiday creative features what the devil is that uh, activate cheats of course always day keep inventory get rid of mobs don't do griefing we can pull that back on later and let's make it not rain at all. Command box enable and we'll just create that. I wish there would be a Wonder Quest revival. That would be amazing. It would be amazing, wouldn't it? I I've been think I would always love to do something. I'm just gonna fly around. I think it'd be nice to do something Wonder Questy, but I don't think we can ever do that again. Hello. I am live streaming. It's alright. It's alright, you can come in and say hello to... Well, you can stay there, probably, because you don't want us to be seen by anybody. You can get something out of the, out of the printer. I'm just doing a tutorial. 
It's alright. What is the thing you're most proud of? In Wonder Quest, um, I think, I think getting through kind of two seasons of <laughs> it, I think making it, so it was kind of, shut the door. I think making Wonder Quest um, so enjoyable and so, uh, what would we call it? So enjoyable. I think the making of it was the best bit in a way. So, because it was really collaborative. So I got to kind of put a load of ideas down on paper about, you know, some of these are some of the things I think we could do in teaching and learning. And then the writers came in, they kind of added their stories and stuff like that. And then me and Stampy kind of had our input and it was all really nicely mushed together. And it was very intense. It all, like Wonder Quest took like a year, a year before it was on, we, it was planning and building everything. So the whole sets were built and I kind of, I kind of did it all, helped produce the sets and stuff like that as well. And why not turn Wonder Quest map into Hunger Games Arena and play it with friends? That would be a good, who would like to do that? If I put Wonder Quest on a server, would anybody like, like, you know, off the books, so to speak? Because it is Stampies and, and Disney's. So we can't, you know, but it might be fun. It's out there, to be honest. Wonder Quest, you can download Wonder Quest if you are interested in the map. And just do what you like with it. Yeah, someone says I think I already did that. Yeah, totally. Right, let's let's go here. So what I've done, what I've just done is I've just created a flat world in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Here it is, flat world. Done. Saving quick. There we go. Done. Uh, of course I'd join. Imagine suggesting. No. <laughs> well, of course, of course. Let's go into this. Now, this is called Tinkercad. Tinkercad.com. Right? You can sign up. I think you need a Google account. Just sign in. It's free. It's great. Uh, Tinkercad is great because it's web based. You get a three dimensional work plane. I'm right clicking with my mouse and I can kind of do that. You've got basic shapes. Bloop, 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 bloop. You've got text and numbers. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Um. You know, all sorts of stuff. You got dinosaurs. Huh? Really? Oh, it's one of those ones. <laughs> it's a put the dinosaur together puzzle. Uh, sorry, I missed some of the stream live in Australia, 12 a.m. Oh my gosh, so late. Smithsonian, what's that? Huh? Oh yeah. Let's do this. Get a woolly mammoth. Get a woolly mammoth. What's this? A boot, boot from the. Why can't I drag it in? A Pergolosi chair. Uh, Lincoln's life mask. Why can't I can't get any of these in though for some reason? Oh, oh, there we go. There is uh, a woolly mammoth. Okay, let's. If I press Shift. Oh, there's all. Oh, we had a bit of lag. That's why. A bit of lag. Since we have taught. I'm now a game a game dev, and I hope I make a game on Nintendo Switch. How brilliant is that? Let me know about it on the old U Twitter, and uh, that'd be amazing. We'll forever appreciate what you did with my Christmas fairy tale. Well, Danny, thank you very much for letting me join in. It was really, I was really impressed with it. If I press Shift and I grab one of these, so this is a tutorial. I'm supposed to be doing that. Uh, there's our woolly mammoth. Okay, we can stretch it and it all goes a bit wiggly wobbly. So I press, I just add control Z, undo that. If you press shift and then grab one of these corners, it, it grows in the right size like that. Okay, so we'll just put that there. So there's loads of things. You can have basic shapes. So you can kind of just, you know, you can kind of do this. You can kind of make a house with a roof. And you kind of grab these things and then you, you see this little kind of cone at the top you can grab that and pull it up and then we're gonna move it across here and make it a bit bigger like that okay that looks okay and then there are some tools to help you kind of sort this out so I'm going to select both of these things and then there's this kind of a line tool up here so I'm going to click hold of that I'm going to line the roof like that, 
and a nine on top. That's wrong in the middle. That's wrong at the bottom. That's wrong at the top. That is wrong. So I'll just grab it and lift it up. That'll do. That will do. And then that's two. That's about right. That looks like a house. I'm going to select the whole lot and then drag it down to the floor again. Perfect. Now, if, and then if you want windows in it and things like that, you can kind of do this. So you can grab a box like this and you can make the box a hole. And we can lift it up and shove it into the house like that. And then I can select them both, make sure I don't select accidentally the, uh, which I think I have, so I'll just move it around a bit. Select everything there and then group it together. Uh, the colour, I want to be multicoloured. And then, look, it, the hole has made a hole, which is pretty cool. So there we go. Uh, skip trial. Right, since we last... Um, num, 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 num. Don't have Twitter. I do have Discord. Ah, well. Let me on Discord. Yeah, let me on Discord. I'll... What's my name on Discord? Let me find out. Hang on. Discord, 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 Discord. Hashtag two zero six eight. This is where I get millions of people sending me friend requests on Discord. But there you go. What can you do? So Discord, it's the common people. Two zero uh, hashtag hash two zero six eight. Send me, send me a DM. You know, DM. Uh, maps projects, yeah, we're doing we're doing Minecraft stuff. Anyway, so look at this. This is cool. So I built a house and I built a dinosaur. <laughs> well, the dinosaur came. Smithsonian gave me the dinosaur, which is great. But how do we get these into Minecraft? Is this is the thing. So th this is where we're in Tinkercad. Tinkercad is free. It's pretty easy. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wonderful. Uh, over at the top, we've got lots of tools. We've got this one here, blocks. We've even got Lego, if you want to see what it looks like in Lego. Let's press the Lego one. Lego. That's cool. Now, we've got like resolution. If you know what resolution is, resolution is um, is how detailed it is. Hello, banker duck. Uh, these are different resolution sizes. So we've got small, medium, which is where we're going now, and large which we're in Lego at the moment but you know, if you want to ever build something in Lego like that pretty cool you obviously not get them floating around but anyway it's also got Minecraft Minecraft um, so let's go super high resolution with this which is pretty cool I love it okay now the colors are sandstone block of emerald or block of redstone that's fine. I'm happy with all that. That's great. So let's go click back here. Click back in there. I need an export thing. Why am I going to export thing? Share. Picture of your design. I don't want the picture. I need, I need. Let's head back out. If you don't have an export thing there, just reload the page. Tinker this. And hopefully, fingers crossed. Is this available on Java? Yeah, yeah. Java's easy. Uh, yes. Yeah, this will work with Bedrock and Java, for sure. Especially the way I'm going to show you. So we'll go back here. There we go. Export. So we'll go higher resolution. Okay. Do do do. Which is awesome. And then we're going to export that. And this exports it as something called a schematic. Friend request, well, I'll, just, I'll accept it once I've finished the stream. And then you can tell me all about your app, which is amazing. So we've we've done this called Powerful Alice. It always comes up with a crazy name at the top, but don't worry about that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we've downloaded something called Amulet. So that is amulet.editor.com. Uh, dash, sorry, amulet-editor.com. Uh, you can run it from source of Mac OS. Oh, run it from source of Linux. But we're on a PC, so um, I'm going to go for this one. So you can kind of, it says read before downloading. It's probably, probably like, 
Uh, all right, it just tells you where things are. That's fine. It's if this is new, so it's um, it's still in development. Okay, there is a Discord. If you go down to the Discord channel, there's a Discord channel all about it and stuff like that. You can learn even more about it. But basically, this is what's going to open up a Minecraft map and let us take the thing that we've made in Tinkercad and dump it into our Minecraft world magically. Uh, I'm running this one down here, beta uh, 0.83.b2. Okay, 64 bit. It is down here. So I've got, make sure that you're not playing your Minecraft world when you start Amulet. Let's start Amulet now. And it looks like this. Oh, there's a new version, but we're okay with this one for the time being. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. There we go. And we're going to open a world. Jennifer Avery. Good morning, Jennifer. Uh, as you see, I've been piddling around with some maps already. So, but I, and it oh, can open Java ones. And it can open Bedrock. Eventually. There we go. And remember that world right at the beginning, if you haven't turned up, right at the beginning I made a, a flat world in Minecraft. So we're going to open up this flat world here. So I've, open, I've opened it. It's now a tab. We can actually open up other worlds in tabs in this as well. Not only that, we could open up a Java world if we wanted to, like this one. And then we could copy things from the Java world and dump them in the bedrock world. <laughs> My head's exploding. It's amazing. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to actually... Uh, we've got tabs along the front along the top which are the different maps that we've got open and we've got our main menu and then tabs along the left hand side which is like about convert and 3d editor let's go to the 3d editor come and grab your stuff oh, oh the printer is not working good morning right we're just loading it up do, do, do. there we go so as you'd expect, there is not a lot. There's not a lot in the uh, in the world. I'm going to back out, back up a little bit. So WASD keys working. Wherever you see the grass, that was is where the chunks have been kind of made in Minecraft. Yeah, anything without chunks, that's like it hasn't been. You haven't walked over that area, so it doesn't really know that it exists. But the chunks that are in here are the ones that exist right now. <laughs> it's the afternoon for some, it's the morning for others. What we need to do is we exported from Tinkercad, if you remember. Let's just pop back to back here. We exported here and it downloaded into my downloads folder. It's morning always somewhere in the world, isn't it? Um, now let's go back to Amulet. And what we're going to do, we're going to import that export into our map. Now this could be Bedrock or it could be... Um, Java map. So let's go let's press the import button down the bottom. And we're going to import a file. Now, what we want to do is we want to do a legacy schematic file. Okay. Go to my downloads and look at there and open that down. Okay, that was power for Alice. Open that. And we get this is where we get it. Here it is. Okay. So let's put it into the right position first. So I'm going to move around a little bit. Now we've got some tools on the left-hand side. We've got our X, Y, and Z, our left, right, and up and down. We can rotate it if we want to. Oh my goodness me, that'd be amazing. We'll, we'll have a little go at that. So let's just move it up first of all. So I'm just going to move it up with, okay, so he's actually just standing on the floor. There we go, perfect. And the face is just rendering in. And that looks pretty good. Is this like World Edit? Yeah, it's called Amulet. It's a third party free downloadable thing. Once you've got it in position that you like it, you've got these other things here, which is paste. Paste air, paste water, paste lava. Let's get rid of them. We don't necessarily paste them. Confirm all that. And there we go. And then we go back to select. And we can see that we've now, we've now import we've taken it from a website tinkercad we've imported it into our minecraft world and i haven't saved it yet as well so just remember that you can save things but what happens if i don't want redstone i want black stone so if you ever get stuck you can always press escape and then you can kind of click and drag and then use your wasd keys 
to do that as well. I haven't got I haven't got quite I haven't selected the top. So again, here you've got the this is your selection box. So I'm gonna in the Y five it says I'm gonna move up and down. So that's not the one I want the Y up here and I can move that up and I select all of that. And now I'm gonna I need to do an operation. Now my operation is basically not a surgical operation. No 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 no. Now what we want to do is we want to change the redstone into stone or some sort of block like that. So I'll press operation and we can have clone, fill, replace, set by and waterlog. Let's do replace. Uh, and I can just use this little clicker so we can do it on a, you know, like a, uh, like a color dropper, right? Redstone block. And I want it to be um, a brick. So let's have a look at brick. So we've got brick block, brick, but we want Chiseled nether bricks, hmm, maybe. What about polished blackstone brick slab? Hmm, polished blackstone bricks. Oh, you're, you are very kind, everybody. Let's just do this, okay, just for the sake of argument, just to show you how it works, really. So, that's how it works. It is empty on the inside as well, which is quite interesting. So there we go. So that is a quick way of getting kind of Minecraft stuff into uh, into this space. Let's do another one. Let's import again. So I'm going to import the file, the uh, the powerful, whatever it's called. I'm going to pop it there. And I'm going to show you some really crazy things. So we're going to just lift this up like this. Move it back a bit. I don't really want to take it into, into chunks that haven't been loaded because we'll cause problems. So let's just move it um, back this way. But we're going to do free rotation. And this does this. Which is fairly wild. Let's do on the side like that. And then let's do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Okay, so now you can see it's kind of at a crazy angle, right? Let's confirm that. And we can scale it down. We can kind of, you know, so, but I won't scale it down. Let's just do this. Confirm this. See what happens. And as if by magic, go back to select. Look at what we've done. Isn't this so cool? Oh, did it break there? Oh, because we had, yeah, because it was triangulating and there was a little bit of a triangle problem here. Well, that's okay. Let's press Control S to save it. And I'll just close it down. And let's go to Minecraft. So remember, that's where we started, Tinkercad. 3D stuff, and you got boxes, and you can kind of just that, and you just make it into into uh, into a Minecraft thing by just pressing a button. Now let's go back to my world. My world. Pretty cool. I mean, imagine this. Yeah. Look how absolutely huge it is. <laughs> it's just like. Oh, uh, this is like a uh, mammoth that's fallen over. Huh? Careful now. And you see what, we, you know, when I said about earlier, when I said, look, this is the chunk that um, didn't quite work. You can come in. It's fine. Uh, and that, um, that didn't work. Why is the printer not printing? Let me turn it on. Or turn it on and off. If in doubt, turn things on and off again. So there we go. I just wanted to kind of, now this will work with Bedrock, Java, and Minecraft Education Edition. Okay. You can create things, copy and paste things from one map to another, uh, do all sorts of things. But I just thought, um, I showed some of, this, some of this this morning, and I thought maybe it's probably a good... Um, a good a good thing to sort of do to show people how to do this kind of stuff for yourselves so you can just get on with it and make your own minecraft maps um i you are a little bit late new animations but not too late you can always watch it again and i'll probably be, now that i've got myself set up like this I will probably be doing a bit of live streaming every day, a little bit every day, 
just to sort of, um, and then I'll probably be doing a longer live stream as well at the weekend. I've turned it off, and then I think I need to turn it on again, and it should work. I think it's because it forgot it. It forgot it was on the internet, Vic. Uh. <laughs> yes, Graham exposed. How does he do it? We ask ourselves. Is it special software? <laughs> Could be. Yes, so there we go. Anybody can do this. So remember, we we went, we first we started off in Tinkercad, and you can make all sorts of things. Let me show you some of the things I've made in Tinkercad, and then I've brought. I use Tinkercad all the time for different Minecraft maps. Is it cheating? No, because you just have to design it. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I made this giant chest. Look at this. Well, I didn't make it. I, somebody else made it. Let's see what it looks like in Minecraft. I don't think I actually used it. But it looked quite good. So it's a Fortnite chest. But let's have a look at it in Minecraft. Pretty cool, isn't it? Like a higher resolution version of it. So you make really big things. And again, you could probably also take uh, 3D things, uh, for, like an STL file, and import them to it as well. Let's see what this kind of does. <laughs> yeah, this is a way of, I mean, so, and also that is too big in a way. Do you know what I mean? Like you've got to kind of, scale is great. It looks great from here. But if you're a player, you'd be like, I'm a player. I can't see it. You know, so you've got to think about the player experience. And that's kind of one of the th big things about, big, big things about this. So we'll just resume the game. But I do like big things like this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's how to do it. I'm going to be ending the stream soon because my wife's got a, meet, a Zoom meeting. We've got, we're all need to be online in some way or another. But I'll just show you very quickly how I've applied this to some of the work that I do. So uh, let's do a giant bedroom. OK. Uh, so this is a map that I'm making for the Minecraft Marketplace, and it will be out <laughs> eventually, at some point or another. Uh, so this is like a this is like a girl's bedroom. This is my my sister's bedroom from the 1990s. I'll just uh, I'll just stand back here and uh, let it all fill in. There we go. So as you can see. We got stereos. We got a, a snares. We got all sorts of stuff. Cupquake Tunes TV. Hi, how you doing? Yes, this has been going on for a while, to be honest. <laughs> Takes me a while. Um, I've added a little castle up there, my little pony castle. But anyway, take care of yourselves, everybody. Have a good day. And uh, and Jennifer, let's have a conversation soon. Okay. <laughs>